Good morning, Puffs. Good morning. Are you sunbathing on the bed? and welcome to another home studio vlog. What I want to do today is there's been like an art challenge going around on Instagram called the hashtag six fan arts challenge and I really really loved the idea of it. You basically have a template where it's like six panels and you ask all your followers and your audience what you should draw for fan art. So I'm going to pick six of my favourite fan arts today and I'm going to take part in the art challenge. I love me a good art challenge. It can also be a fantastic way to get seen on Instagram if you want to grow your following, participating in these kind of social media challenges. You'll see them kind of going around. There's been different things from draw this in your styles. There's been all sorts of different types of challenges and stuff. So keep an eye out for that if you enjoy joining in on little challenges and stuff like that so that's what I'm going to get to work on but first of all before we get into it I want to say a huge thank you to our sponsors today Skillshare you guys know I absolutely love Skillshare and now more than ever is such a good time to utilize the two months free trial they're offering 500 people if you're clicking the link below because we're all kind of cooped indoors and developing a new art skill or a photography skill or whatever you can go and do these online classes which is so so fun to do and I absolutely love Skillshare and I know a lot of you guys have actually messaged me saying that you've been enjoying them too and if you have any classes you would recommend definitely let me know in the comments below. I really really want to brush up on my anatomy so I think that I'm going to be taking some Skillshare classes on how to get better at anatomy and stuff. I'm still not 100% and I know drawing from reference can really really help but I feel like I want to get a different artist's perspective on this. Maybe you want to to develop a skill like watercolours or maybe wanted to get into illustration or doing sticker sheets or how to run an Etsy store. They've got tons and tons of online classes to choose from. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I think it's an absolutely great opportunity to grow some skills while we're all kind of cooped indoors and everything. But now I'm going to get my iPad out and I'm going to do this six fan arts challenge. I'm super super excited about it because I've seen loads of different artists and interpretations and it's really really fun to see how different styles and different artists adapt how they interpret the fan art and seeing it in their styles can be so so fun so I'm actually really looking forward to doing this challenge. Let's get the iPad out and do the six fan art challenge. I asked you guys what I should do and yeah we've had a few comments and I think there's a lot of people who've commented Sailor Moon so she's a definite one that I want to illustrate and let's see what else we've got. I'm just about to do my to-do list for the day but as you can see this week is my birthday week it's actually on the 9th of April and I was meant to be in Krakow this week but instead we kind of cooped up indoors but never mind Daisy's found a little sun patch. She's like having a little sunbathing session. Be cozy, Daisy. Okay, back to work. I keep getting distracted. But how can you not get distracted when, when you've got your little fur babies hanging around? Okay, let's get back to it. I've just spilled water all over my laptop and all over my mouse mat. Oh, man. Oh, it's all over my desk now. Anyway, let's have a look at what everyone's been saying on the recent Instagram post. I'll just turn the brightness down a bit so you can see. Uh, so we've got a few things like... 
Howl from Howl's Muse Moving Castle. They've got 10 lights. Kiki, Lady and the Tramp, the Kittens from Aristocats. Packs and Rec, Tom Nook, oh my gosh, I definitely have to do that. Sailor Pluto, Hagrid, Draco, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon. This is so fun. I think a Disney villain, there's another one, look. A Disney villain like Ursula Cruella or Hades. No Face, Captain Marvel, Joe Exotic, oh my gosh, the Tiger King. We've had a few Disney and Lilo and Stitch as well, so I feel like I have to write that down because that's very, very particular, so... We'll have to put that down. I just need one more. Oh my god, Chobits. Oh, has anyone seen the anime Chobits? I watched that when I was like 13 or something. Here's our finals. We've got Sailor Moon, Maleficent, Tom Nook, Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle, Stitch and Ariel. They seemed to pop up a lot, specifically Sailor Moon and anything Animal Crossing related. And um, Howl's Moving Castle was like one of the most requested. So yeah, I'm really excited to do this. I'm just posting a picture to Instagram. So I finished planning out my sketch, the screen protector is going crazy and the hardest one to do by far was stitch. Now literally 25 to 6 and I've just finished doing the illustrations and they look really cute and I couldn't decide whether to go back in with a like another layer and do the shading but I've actually been working on this for about two-ish hours now which is a long time for me to take on an art challenge but I just was listening to some Hawaiian guitar music on my computer and doodling this what do you think but I was going to go in with a multiply layer and do my shading and stuff but I think I'm just going to leave it like this um because I kind of like the way it looks I'm not sure about this calcifer I think he's really cute but he doesn't really suit the page but this has to be my favourite one. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? But yeah, that's that's the finished piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna share this to my phone and I'm gonna share it on Instagram. And I'm just gonna share it, find the hashtags and stuff for it. And I'm gonna watch Money Heist. Is it Money Heist? Is that what I've been watching? I don't know, it's like this show on Netflix. I think it's called Money Heist and it's like the number two trending. And at first I couldn't really get into it, but now I'm like, okay, I wanna know what happens now. I'm totally invested in the characters. I can see why people get kind of addicted to it and really, really enjoy it because the character backstories are really, really good and you just kind of get absorbed into the characters my eyes are also so sore from hay fever i've used eye drops i use allergy tablets every day and i still can't seem to make them any better so yeah i'm gonna get my pajamas on share this to instagram have my tea and watch money heist <laughs> 
that sounds like a plan if you ask me so this has pretty much been my life for the last like week or so well two weeks probably i just bring this quilt down that's in the guest room and yes it's a christmas duvet but it's so soft it's like this brushed brushed cotton material and it's really really soft and cozy and i've just been sitting on my sofa and watching box sets and things like that literally for like two weeks so, and this is like my new favorite setup and there's no point even taking this duvet upstairs at this point because we kept taking it upstairs and i kept bringing it back downstairs every single night because i'm like the type of person i don't know about you guys but i like to have like the windows open where it's like cool inside the house but then i'm like all snuggled up in a duvet like in my little cocoon like i just find it really really cozy um so yeah, I'm actually going to watch Tim Tracker first because he's got a new cute vlog up of him and baby Jackson and then I'm going to watch Money Heist and we've just ordered a Chinese. We're currently on episode 7 part 1 and we didn't realise that the whole heist was going to be like a full season but... Professor, you have to me and Fluffy are sad because we've been waiting for a Chinese. Well, Fluffy hasn't, but <laughs> we've been waiting for a Chinese and it still hasn't arrived an hour and a half later. Am I right, Fluffs? How <laughs> come every time I talk to the camera, she like goes right up to the camera? Who's that? It's you, Fluffs. Look at my eye now, it's getting worse and worse. I've been using these eye drops, but they're not really working. Oh man! Oh, our takeaway didn't turn up. We've been waiting for three hours and we rang several times and it still didn't turn up. So we had to get a refund off Just Eat and then we just checked Just Eat again. And the takeaway is now, it says like the shop is closed and they're not answering the phone. So goodness knows what happened there. Hello guys, it's my birthday. We are on series four now of money heist but i really wanted to show you these two cute presents that i got that are totally me and i think they're adorable i'm kind of half dressed i haven't really done my hair or anything today and i haven't done my makeup because i'm not going anywhere so what is the point so this is a really cute switch case that dean got me and look it's got the little leaf on and tom nook wears a shirt with this little cute pattern on but inside is even better Look, it's a little shirt thing here. And then it just says Nintendo and you can put stuff in here. You can also put game cartridges in here. Although I tend to download the game. And then that's where you put the Switch. But you can put the Switch and the Switch Lite in this case. But how cute is that Animal Crossing case? And then my brother got me the first volume of Sailor Moon. So the first manga for Sailor Moon. So I totally want to collect these. And I can't wait to read them. Yay! I feel very spoiled and very lucky. But to top it off, my friends sent me the cutest video from them all. And it was just so cute. I loved it. Oh, look. Oh, look at this. That's so cute. This, this is why I love Animal Crossing. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. We're currently watching Money Heist and I'm doing a little birthday 
colouring page free of charge for everyone. I've done a little cake as a little cat. And I'm gonna line at it, but my battery is dying on this camera, I can't believe it, so I'll insert time lapse right now. Good morning guys, so today I'm actually going to nip into the studio but I'm not going to work in the studio. I need to edit a vlog or another vlog that I filmed before this, a studio slash home vlog. But if you guys know, in my second studio I've got this big monitor that plugs into this MacBook which just makes editing so much easier and so much quicker so i'm gonna go into the studio and pick that monitor up and also you are on low battery and i forgot to bring the battery charges so i'm gonna go grab a bunch of stuff i'm also gonna grab my stickers for my planner and just make some sort of like little shelf or something with all the stuff i normally use like my stickers for my planner because i enjoy doing that and I enjoy making it look pretty and I'm also going to pick up the printer that got delivered the small one and do a review at home rather than in the studio um, and yeah make this a little better because I don't know if you can see but it's pretty low down and usually when I'm doing my makeup this is absolutely fine because this is like where I do my makeup and stuff but when I'm editing I'm kind of slouched over this way so it's kind of a bit of a nightmare so if I have a monitor that's up here it'll be much easier to kind of sit there and edit so also if anyone wants to know where I get these hooks from that you can hang your straighteners on uh, I got these off eBay they're like super strong hook things and they're really handy for like hair straighteners and stuff. I feel like I've been thrown back in time because this is how I started on my makeup desk. I used to have a Mac on my makeup desk, uh, this exact one in fact, and that's how I kind of started catnip. <laughs> so I feel like I've gone back in time but yeah this battery is dying so I'm gonna head to the studio now and pick up my monitor. Okay so I've got the monitor and hi Floss. I also got a bunch of stuff from the studio, so my whole studio is packed into this little pink box, which I'll keep at the side. I got my sticker. These are all my different individual stickers and stuff that I have for my diary, and I also want to start journaling, so I wanted to bring that home. I've got my microphone because I've actually got a Patreon podcast to record today, and then I've got my battery charger for this camera. This got delivered to my office ages ago because I've run out of makeup. And then I've got stuff from Germany which I actually took to work because I was going to record it as part of the studio vlog um, and do start a new planner like a travel journal but I'm going to do that here. Oh and then I brought the HP sprocket back here to review eventually. More Germany stuff. Glue stick for my journal. And a little pad of washi tape that got sent by one of my followers. It's like loads of washi tape samples inside. I'll show you like this. So it's got made by one of my followers. It's really cute and I use that for like my, um, my planners and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to actually set up this monitor and hopefully it will be a lot easier and better to edit on. Okay, it's all set up. <laughs> My iPad's just like balancing off. It looks a little ugly, but it's just gonna have to do for now, isn't it? Uh, I don't really like the idea of having a huge screen on like my makeup desk, but it's only temporary. I just need to remember that. And some of my makeup brushes and stuff I've had to move over here. And then I'm just gonna sort this basket out and maybe put it in the corner or, oh, I don't know. I know Floss, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Oh, I know. I can't believe it. Oh, is that right? Do you enjoy it? <laughs> so this is my setup right now. And now I'm going to edit a video and get to work on answering emails and stuff like that. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, so I just finished uploading my first stay-at-home vlog. 
I probably look a little crazy right now because I am dressed in this PJ set that I got off Shein because we were meant to be doing a PJ party but my friends who were obviously coming to the PJ party have arranged a virtual pyjama party uh, for my birthday and I also have some of the decorations obviously this is not all of them I'm just going to put three up just to celebrate and I'm going to plug in my disco ball and just have a little party what do you think Floves? Virtual party! So I've just set up a little birthday table ready for our virtual party. I've put a disco ball on. All the balloons have been blown away. There is loads of balloons. Look, they're flying outside for some reason. But this is our little virtual birthday party set up. I'm in my pyjamas. I've got the little fans on up there ready and we're going to connect on Zoom. I've got my Prosecco and I asked for a Prosecco glass but Dean doesn't know what a Prosecco glass is so he got me a wine glass. And yeah, it looks really cute. and happy Monday. It's bank holiday Monday at the moment but I've decided to do some work from home to try and catch up and I'm going to edit the Germany vlogs that I had. Um, I've had it up for ages and I started editing them and then I stopped and I kind of ummed and ahed about it a little bit because it just felt like the wrong time but then now we don't know when this is all going to blow over so I might as well just edit it and upload it because they were great memories for me and I also want to document it myself, look through my footage and I just really fancy editing them so that's what I'm going to do now. I actually got up this morning and went straight to my computer, answered emails, replied to YouTube comments and yeah now I'm just going to edit and I think I'm going to end the studio vlog here guys or kind of home vlog here guys. Uh, I am going to go back into the studio this week because there is a few things that I actually need to do inside the studio. I've got a lot of sold out stuff so there will be a studio vlog coming up very very soon and the question of this week is if you had to choose a birthday cake would you choose a lemon cake or a chocolate cake or another cake let me know what cake you would choose in the comments below i hope you enjoyed this um home studio kind of vlog uh, i'll see you all very very soon all right then thanks so much for watching all right then love you goodbye